<laughs> yo, 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 everyone, welcome to another vlog. So today, Nico and Luca came by, and what look what they have. Okay, they've got roses for Granny Mo, my mom, and Lana, which is really sweet of them, but they went and got an official unreleased yo-yo squad shirt they actually made this themselves which is hella awesome so thank you guys so so much for that that is dope like i legit just woke up and they came with them with cool presents so thank you guys so so much as always guys they have a channel i'll link it down below but what a way to start the day good morning everyone <laughs> <laughs> anyways we're gonna do their vlog now and yeah i'll see you with the rest of mine peace and here it is guys, the Powered by Mo Yo-Yo Squad shirt in front of the Lambo. Anyways, awesome seeing you guys, high five. See ya. High five all around. I'm definitely going to give the flowers to my Mo, Granny Mo inside. And yeah, get their reaction too. Peace. So that was a really, really awesome way to start the day. Huge shout out to them. I'm actually going to rock this t-shirt all day long. And they were so kind to bring these flowers you saw. I already gave Lana's to her upstairs, but... Here's Mummy Mo and Granny Mo's. There you go. Thank you, Yo -Yo Squad. From the Yo, Yo Squad themselves. My grandma's actually by the swimming pool now, so my mom's gonna go take it to her. And hopefully, I can join them once my editing finishes. I swear, it's getting so hectic. Anyways, have fun at the swimming pool. Thank you. See you later. Bye bye. bye. I'm in my room right now and I want to show you something because normally I put all my clothes in this wardrobe. Like, this is where I look for my clothes. But I decided to take a look in this one and I found the dumbest thing I think I have ever bought in my life. Now, I bought this like a couple years back and I kid you not, this jacket has not been worn by me even once. And I'll tell you why now. When I bought this, this is a leather jacket and I spent £120, which I think is quite a bit of money for a jacket. And I never wore it even once. I think this was the dumbest purchase of my life. Let me wear you and show it how it looks. Wait, did I just say let me wear you? I mean, let me wear it and show you how it looks. Here goes nothing. Oh, woo! <laughs> oh my god. I can barely straighten out my arms. This is pretty small for me now, but the reason I never bought it is when I bought it initially, I thought I was going to look badass in this jacket. I was like, yo, leather jacket. And then when I came to actually wear it to school, I legit just backpedaled my way out of it. I was like, no, what if people make fun of me and stuff like that. So it actually sat in my cupboard for like three years. And I never wanted to give it away because I was like, oh, but it's my leather jacket. But I never wore it. So this jacket has never been worn outside for like three years. And uh, it was just a big waste of money. I know, it's my fault. Let me, let me, I can't even take it off with one hand. It's so tight that, okay, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. Most biggest waste of money ever. I might try and wear it out from now, even though it's never going to be cold. <sighs> RIP to this jacket, man. So you can probably see I've come by the swimming pool to do a bit of swimming. Now I want to be really, really honest with you guys. Two days ago I uploaded a vlog and in it I had loads of swimming clips. Now, don't get me wrong, none of you said anything. Like there wasn't any comments. But after watching that vlog myself, I felt so bad about myself. And I'll tell you why. Like personally at the moment, I'm not in the best shape ever. Like I've gained a lot of weight compared to like one, two years ago. And you guys wouldn't have even seen a lot of it on the vlog because there was parts I actually cropped my own belly out. And I know that's really bad, but I don't know. It kind of gets to you when you see you're gaining weight. So that's what I'm going to try and do now. Just start exercising a bit more. That's why I'm here at the swimming pool now. But that will mean I'm probably going to start vlogging my exercises less because I've realized, and it is a bad thing, whenever I start vlogging it, I don't focus on actually doing the exercise. I focus more on getting the correct shots and you know, nice swimming shots, but I don't actually go all out like trying to lose weight type of stuff. So I hope you guys understand. I'm just gonna do a bit of swimming. Don't get me wrong, I still will record a lot of it, but just not as much as I would normally. So let's take the shirt off, do a bit of swimming and lose a bit of weight, Mo. Come on, you can do it. How was your swim, mummy? It's good, very good. Did you guys actually swim or yeah, were you guys talking? <laughs> Yesterday, they weren't even swimming. Like, I was swimming a little bit and they were just like walking and talking to each other but that's fine i guess what's that it's, uh, oh ladybird. it's not real are you sure that's not real yeah, touch, it, touch it touch no, it touch no, it <laughs> are you sure that's yeah. oh okay 
Yo, who would do that? They put a lady. You know, we should annoy grandma with it. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, annoy Nana with it. Here is the start of a new mole, guys. Let's die. How you feel? Okay, that was a bad idea. So much water went in my nose. Okay, I'm gonna get to swimming and I'll see you guys after. I'm done with swimming for now. As you can see, it's pretty dark now. I'm heading back home. I'm actually really happy with the workout I did. Feel really, really fresh. And yeah, I can just go now take a shower and get ready to go out. So me and the family are heading out to go Global Village right now. And I remember last time we went a lot of you said, Mo, go back. So we're doing it today with my grandma. Just going to go around, I guess, to the places we didn't go. Because if you don't know, Global Village has like loads of countries and stuff like that. You can explore. And yeah, it'll be pretty cool to go there. By the way, I am so tanned. Do you guys realize it? Because I do like, I, I feel like I'm a different person. I'm so bronze. Anyways, let's go and have some fun. Whoa, I look like an evil person. What? Look at that lighting. Anyways, yeah, let's head off and have some fun over there. We just made it over to the global village and I know I say this every single time we get here, but it looks better every time. Like It looks gorgeous right now. I'm not sure if you can see it behind me. It looks like I've come to like, you know, Disneyland. It actually does. Like just taking that view for a couple of seconds. Okay, so I just got the tickets. By the way, it changed color from red to green. So check that out. I'm not sure how like often it changes color, like every 10 minutes, five minutes, but it's cool we got to see two of them. Anyways, let's go in and have some fun. Yes. Here goes nothing, we are entering the global village. We are back in the international square. I call it this because it has like all the countries. As you can see, a really awesome place. We have China, Dubai's Burj Khalifa replica, London, New York. I actually really want to visit the United States this year. Funny enough, I have actually never been to the US, so that'd be a first. That's definitely gonna happen soon. Hopefully summer. I'm not even gonna lie guys, at this angle, you would totally believe me that this was the Burj Khalifa. Like, it looks so real, but then once you get down here, they'll be like, yo Mo, how are you this close? So, I think this is what you need to do to fool people. What is that? clock actually rings that's awesome so you know what's really funny that I've realized compared to like an average person I would say like I'm above average when it says to traveling but I've never been to like the iconic places for example Paris I've never been to Rome I've never been to even Sydney which you see over there I have never been to but on the bright side, that means there are a load of places I can still go and visit without it getting boring because I haven't been to a lot of them, so that's a good thing, I guess. Yo, look at the size of the teddy bear they want. Did you see the size of that teddy bear, guys? That was humongous. Like, I don't know where they won that from. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yo. Hey, hey. Wow. That was My name is the Sitmar all the way from Tokyo, Japan. Oh, Not gonna lie, that last one had me impressed. The others I was like okay with, but that last one looks so cool. Anyways, they actually oh, they have a war show going on here. Okay. Wow. Ta-da. Wow, that's two pretty cool shows we ran into right now. Anyways, I'm gonna go find my mom and grandma. I think they sat down because 
they didn't want to follow me around obviously because I'm walking around trying to find the cool places. Oh, you guys got correct tea without me, okay. It's tea. Oh, it's just tea. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see how it goes. I you see how it goes. Oh, no, I'm fine you to be honest. Taste, uh, sweet, you like it. Since my mum and grandma got themselves tea, I'm going to go get myself this special type of ice cream. I'll show you what it is. It's like these white rice stick looking things and it's got lemon trust me it's super super nice so let's go grab myself one and i can show you it this is what it is guys it's these like i don't know how to explain it but it tastes like lemony and sweet it's really nice that's awesome <laughs> Here you go, this is the ice cream, and I know it might not look the best, but trust me when I say this thing is delicious. Like, I don't know, to me it tastes delicious. So the first area we've actually come into is Egypt, and they have loads and loads of cool things. So he's making, I think it looks like some sort of, I'm not even sure. It's like them things that turn water, guys. I'm not sure, it's like on a smaller scale. Wow. That's amazing. I can't believe he actually made that because when it comes to this type of stuff, I have no talent, but he's actually handcrafted this whole thing. What do you call these? I can't remember the name in English. It's like the ones that move water, like when the water comes, but it's like a windmill kind of thing, if you know what I mean. Anyway, it's really awesome. Thank you. I'm about to enter the Egyptian museum they have over here, which is really, really awesome because look at this. They have a mummy here, like, this is actually kind of spooky to stand next to because, I don't know, you feel like it's just looking at you. Anyways, let's get straight in here and check out the museum, okay. What is this? I'm unsure about what this is. Okay, not sure about what the first one is, I think it's just some like sort of design and arts, but look at this. They have like some horses and pharaoh statues which look really, really cool. I just, I would love to stand there. Like, it would make me feel so satisfied right now, but obviously, there's something stopping me. But there you go, Mr. Farrow over there. Loads of art pieces on the wall. This place is awesome. They've got a bunch of cool stuff in here. One of them being this sword. It's the sword replica of the Prophet Muhammad. Look at that. That is really, really cool. Anyways, I'm going to move on. What is that thing? <laughs> what is this? It is a ram head machine. Okay. Anyways, let's keep going and see what we can find. This place, I hope I don't get lost in it because it's got a couple of turns and twists in between. I never thought I'd say this, but I actually learned something while I was here. So, I came in here and I looked at these flags and the first thing I thought in my head was, why is the flag of Turkey here? But after reading, this actually isn't the Turkey flag. This used to be the Egyptian flag. And look how many times they changed it. So, it was that, then they changed it to three like moon-shaped ones with stars, changed it back, changed it again. Then they changed the color and then changed it again and again. So that is really cool. I never knew that. I'm guessing, is this the final one? I'm not even sure anymore. Well, that's really, really awesome. I guess you do learn something every single day. Okay, I'm just exploring the place now. Loads of stuff. Oh, that is awesome. That is, oh my God. That is so awesome. I feel like I'm in a movie. You know when like in the movies you find like the special tomb? That's how I feel like right now. I'm actually using my phone's flashlight because it's super dark in here, but I'm amazed. Moving on, look at what they have over here. They have like this little tomb thing, which looks epic. I swear if anything moves, I'm gonna cry. Oh my God, guys, that looks really, really freaky. They had that in the corner, and I didn't know what it was until I put my flashlight on it. And it looks like these dead mummy type of things, but obviously I think it's made of like wood. Okay, I just left that museum. That was so cool. Like, did you see some of the stuff in there? Anyways, it just actually closed. I think I was the last person in there, which made it like scarier. Like, the guy, so I just saw one person come up to me. I was like, okay. And he was like, we're closing. I was like, oh, okay. My grandma actually bought a load of things while I was in the museum. So these are some shirts or dresses. What are they? Yeah, you see, this is the, the shirt and. Oh, okay. You know how much? How much? How much was it? 
guess? I'm guessing 50. For both? Yeah. Wow. That's actually a good price. That's a bargain. Yeah. Granny Mo on that bargain stuff. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> so there, there you go, guys. My grandma actually bought herself two pieces for only 35, which is really, really cheap. Like, I can't even get like food for that price. That's a wrap of our global village tour for today guys. We got here really late and they're closing so unfortunately I only got to see Egypt but it was so cool in that museum like I did not expect to find something like that. Even last time I found this like really cool Chinese gallery which was like super dope and this time I found this like exclusive tube like nobody was in there which made it even like scarier I was like okay am I supposed to be here but no that was amazing anyways we're heading back home for today I think my grandma had a nice time she bought herself some clothes as you can see them walking and yeah it was generally a really chill day for now though we're gonna have to say goodbye to this place and head off home I swear the petrol station has become like a second home to me quickly stopped some milk you know what I feel really cheeky and oh this is really hard to pull I'm gonna get myself a galaxy ice cream yo why is this thing so rigid there we go one galaxy ice cream and a milk I'm gonna wrap up today's vlog here everybody I hope you have enjoyed I'm so stressed out at the moment because it's currently 1 a.m. and I'm going to bed and I've got two hours worth of clips I need to edit tomorrow as well as somehow record a vlog which is just going to be so hectic but I'm sure it will happen I'll do something hopefully and yeah stay awesome already hope you've enjoyed today yalla yolo goodbye